Hi, I'm Mike with Precision Camera, and I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit today about a question I get asked a lot, which is what is the difference between shutter speed and shutter angle? Now, with the advent of video in DSLRs and mirrorless cameras and people utilizing that feature a lot more, you encounter a lot of terms and a lot of uh, exposure issues that are a little bit different from photography that knowing the answers to these is gonna help you out a lot as you continue to shoot video and get better and better, especially as you move up into cinema cameras like the ones you see in front of me. A lot of these are going to use shutter angle instead of shutter speed in order to help you determine what your exposure is gonna be. So the first thing to know is that shutter angle is a throwback term to old rotary shutters that would use a disc shutter that would revolve in a circle at a certain angle and uh, expose light that way onto the film strip. Now, with photography, we do it a little bit differently. You use shutter speed. Now, the important distinction to know is that with video, you typically want your shutter speed, unless you're trying to do something for a specific creative reason, for most normal things you're going to be doing, you typically want the shutter speed to be double whatever your frame rate is. So if you're shooting at 24 frames per second, you want a shutter speed that's gonna be close to 1 48th uh, of a second. If you're shooting at 60 frames per second, you typically want a shutter speed that's going to be around 1 1 20th of a second. Um, the way that translates into shutter angle is that doubling of the frame rate by the shutter is called a 180 degree shutter angle. And so if you're shooting on a cinema camera maybe for the first time and you're not sure what shutter angle you should set, go with a 180 degree shutter angle and your shutter speed is going to double your frame rate and you'll be safe for most applications doing it that way. Um, as you change the angle of the shutter, you're going to expose more and less light at a time and you're going to change the amount of motion blur because that's the main thing we're talking about here when we're talking about shutter speed is what type of blur we're seeing in the movement. And using a 180 degree shutter angle is going to create the type of blur that is like what our eyes naturally see. And I hope that helps. If you have any more questions, you can come into the store and see us or go to precision-camera.com.